Now let's see how we're going to interpret this. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 27. If any man. Listen to this. Now I want y'all to hear this. If any man. Speak in an unknown tongue. Any multitude of people. Let it be by two. Or at the most by three. Now you're going to tell me your church ain't false. But the spirit moved through your church and all y'all start speaking in an unknown tongue. So God gave your church a different spirit than the one that wrote the book. Hmm. If any multitude of people. Speak in an unknown back tongue. Back and back up. If any who. If any man. Is man plural or singular? Singular. Standard English. Yeah. Singular. If any group of men. If any man. If two or three got to touch it and grin on anything in my name, go ahead and speak in tongues. Yes, sir. See, they'll take that and put it out of context yes, too. Sir. That ain't what he said though. Amen. He said, if any man speak. In an unknown tongue. I want you to give me uh, um, Acts of the Apostle chapter 2 and verse 1. That's right. Listen to this now. If any man speak. In an unknown tongue. How should it be done? Let it be by two. Let me see. Let me. It's, this going to be hard because you know, I, I skate out of school. Let it be by two. At the most? Or at the most by three. So these many can do it. The spirit get to move. We can't control the spirit. No, sir. <laughs> you can't control the spirit. But God got control over his That's spirit. Right, That's right, preacher. That's right. You see how many can do it at the most? Amen. At the most. Do you think God let the church got so high? He said, you know what? But what I put in the Bible, everybody just get their tongue speaking on. <laughs> What's wrong with us? Amen. When he said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. That's right. How many can do it at the most, sir? Three. Okay, is that what y'all think or that what the book says? What the book says. Amen. This is what he said. Amen. And Let's see can all three of them do it together at the same time. And that by course. And what is course? Amen. By turns. Yes, that's right. And what do you want the other one to do? And let the one interpret. Three of us couldn't even do it in here at the same time. Yeah, that's right. Not according to what we read right here. Amen. He said the most it could only be three, and one got to do and the other one got to be interpreted. That's right. Listen to what he said about the interpreting. I'll tell you what Mr. Jenny said about it. Amen. Listen. But if there be no interpreter. Listen to this now. If there be no interpreter. Let him keep silence in the church. Guess who he said should keep silent? He said the interpreter. Hmm. Why would the interpreter be talking if he's not there? That's right. If the interpreter were talking, how would you know it if he's not there? Amen. This is how spirit of retarded these churches are. Amen. If there be no interpreter, let the interpreter keep silent. How many of y'all think that what that means? <laughs> Why would you sit in a church if your preacher that dumb and you see better than that? Mm. This is how poor these churches are. That's spirit of retarded. Yeah. All of, you, did you get the Holy Ghost speaking in an unknown tongue? No, nobody else did it either according to what they say right here. Man, only right. way you can do that, only one can do it at a time. That's, that's right. right. We'll be here all day if everybody got to do it one at a time. Yep. That's right. Let's see how they do on their Pentecost. Amen. Acts Apostle chapter 2 and verse 1. Amen. Amen. Do it like what they call, what they call that son of Pentecost the church. Yeah, that's right. Tell that lie. <laughs> that's right. No name or no Amen. church. Amen. The church was here before Pentecost. That's right. You go to the seventh chapter of the book, I have to tell you, this was the church in the wilderness. The, wilderness. Yep. the church didn't get started on no damn Pentecost. Right. Amen. That's when he first brought the Holy Ghost down Amen. on him. It was in bad shape. That's when they think the church was established That's on right. the day of Pentecost. Hmm. That's right. Come on, son. And when the day of Pentecost well, we come, they were all with one accord in one place. Suddenly. There came a sound from heaven As. of a rushing mighty wind. How did it feel? All the house well, they were sitting and there appeared unto them Coventon. like as a fight. And it said, well, upon each of them. And they all did what? Filled with the Holy they Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to do what? Speak with other tongues. Y'all hear the key? Other tongues. Others. Amen. Not unknown. Y'all hear the key? Amen. See, they're right here, they so retarded, they think it's the same tongue. A couple of things you'll find. In the book of Mark, the 16th chapter, 15 verse, he that believe in their baptized shall be saved, he that believe not shall be damned, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. He said they're going to speak with new tongue. The word new is not in the original text. Right. Amen. These are italic sized words, meaning these words were added, but the reason why they're added is show you that there's a difference between all of these tongues. Right. New conversation. Yep. On the day of Pentecost, they spake in other tongues. Amen. These were known languages, and we're going to prove it. That's Not right. original word in the text, but this word will add let you know that there is a difference. When you go to 1 Corinthians 14, chapter, you find unknown tongue because that's a language not known by man. Amen. Amen. That's right. Oh, how I figured that out. Amen. Without the seminary school. That's right. 
Because God don't give you by the school, he's going to give it to you by the spirit. That's right, Amen. preacher. Now, let's prove whether these were languages that the people spoke so we can bear record. And do I know what I'm talking about? Amen. Come on, finish it up. And began to speak with other tongues. As? The Spirit gave them utterance. Come on, son. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem. Devout? Jews, devout men. Out of where? Every nation. Under where? The, under heaven. Come on. Now, when this was... When North. this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because what? That every man heard them speak in his own language. Y'all hear that? They were confounded because they heard them speak in an unknown tongue yeah. that only God, that only God know, in His own language. Listen, and they were all amazed and, and, and marvelled. Come on, saying one to another, Come on, behold. Are not all these which speak Galileans? Uh huh. And how hear we every man in, in our what own tongue? When we were born. Hmm. So now, do y'all believe me? Amen. When they speak in an unknown tongue, there was language that was known. Amen. All these years you've been walking around like a buffoon, thinking they were speaking an unknown tongue. <laughs> That's right. Amen. The multitude came and was confounded. They were confused right. because we had these people speaking the same language that we were born in. Yep. Amen. That's right. Listen to the book. Parthians. Oh, Lord. That's an unknown tongue. How can it be unknown? They tell you the people that were there and the language they were speaking. Parthian. And Medes. And Elamite. And the, and the dwellers in Mesopotamia. And what about Cappadocia? And in Judea. And in Judea. And Cappadocia. And Pontus. And Asia. And Phrygia. And Philippia, uh -huh. in Egypt, Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, and in parts of Libya, about Crene, uh -huh. and strangers in, of Rome, strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, uh -huh. Cretes and Arabians, uh -huh. we do hear them speak in our tongues. The wonderful what? Works of God. Man, I just tore up. I don't know how many P A W Paul churches. <laughs> I don't know how many Apostolic churches got to go back there and try to fix what they've been telling these people. But y'all have just sat here today. And heard the Bible bear record that if they actually spoke in an unknown tongue, only one or two could do it, and it had to be done one at a time. That's right. Everybody got the Holy Ghost when you find in the Book of Acts when they show the Act, more of them, more of them did it at one time, so they had to speak in the other. They had to speak in other oh, tongues. That's right. That's right. Let's see what Cornelius in his house did. Give that's me right. the tenth chapter of the Book of Acts of the Apostle. Man, man, it don't take that long. It ain't that hard. You make it hard because you refuse to come out of them ball vomiting churches. That's right. Church ain't fit for a rat to go in and vomit in it. That's right, preacher. Amen. Know your church sad when a rat refuse to go in there and eat cheese in it. Amen. Pastor, I ain't going to eat in that filthy mess. They're going to hell. Amen. Pastor, I'm going to nasty sewer to gut them. That's right. Listen to the book. Amen. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10. Give me about verse uh, 34. And at the 34th verse. Listen to this. Then Peter opened his mouth. Then Peter opened his mouth. And said. Oh, but true. I perceive that God is of no respect of person. Y'all hear that? Yep. He's I perceive that God is no respect of person. Because now he's doing the same thing the Gentile did to the Jews. That's yep. right. Listen. But in every nation. Uh-huh. He that feareth him. And worketh what? Righteousness. What happened? Is accepted with him. God accepted with him. They don't want to teach nobody talking about all that. They got churches that do that. They want to accept nobody, but they say they own color. You and that color all going to hell. I want to be a part of church That's like right. that. Right. Now when Peter just taught it, you can't believe the Bible and you accept only one race of people. Because he just said, Peter said, I perceive that God has no respect to person. Amen. Come on. But in every nation, uh -huh. he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Listen to the book. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. Come on, son. Preaching peace by Jesus Christ. Come on, son. He is Lord of all. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. God. Listen. That word. That word. I say ye know. Uh huh. Which was published throughout all Judea. Come on, son. And began from Galilee. Uh huh. After the baptism which John preached. Uh huh. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Uh huh. With the Holy Ghost. Listen to that. That's what you need to. Yep. Amen. Amen. Come on. How that John, how, now God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost Come on. and with power, uh -huh. who went about doing good uh -huh. and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Come on, son. For God was with him. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Listen Amen. to the book. And we are witnesses of all things. Come on, son. Which he did both in the land of the Jews. Come on, son. And in Jerusalem, uh -huh. whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Him. Come on. God raised up the third day uh -huh. and shewed him openly. To all the witnesses. Not to all the people. Not, but chosen. But unto witnesses chosen before of God. Come on, son. Even to us uh -huh. who did eat and drank with him. Come on, son. After he rose from the dead. Come on, son. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. That is who? And to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of the quick That's and right. dead. You hear that? that 